everyone welcome once again it's your girl princess clayton on real inspiration we get to unleash the real you by bringing you stories real life and practical stories that can help you have true life and move through life better okay so um this is what i'm talking about today permit me go all emotional on you if i have to because i'm feeling some more you know i'm coming from a place where someone has really gone through so much and i've been through that but mine wasn't that serious and a lot of friends have spoken to me about it sometime as well and i noticed that it's true it's about giving it's about helping people so i know a lot of things happen around the world that makes it kind of complicated and difficult to help people but this is what i'll advise if you have the burning desire and the urge to help help don't go trying to find out what you're helping, what the person is going to do with the money. You know, some people are going to say like, you, your help could be financial. So let's use financial because it's easier. So you could help someone financially. And then before you want to help them, you're asking them like, what do you want to do with the money? Where do you want to, you know, there are just a lot of things that people might need to do with money that should be none of your business. I'm not saying that it's not good to know because yes, someone is going to say, what if the person is taking the money to go do drugs? That's not your part to worry. Your part to worry is, do you know what you're doing? Is it right? Should you do it because you have the urge to do it? If yes, yes, go ahead and do it. But if you don't have the urge to do it, just let it slide. Because most of the times we really have the urge to give there's that desire there's that intuition that is telling you that give help this person help this person and you're like okay because you want to suit your conscience you go asking what the person want to do with the money so maybe the person wants to do something that you don't like or you don't stand for and then you tell yourself oh yeah i'm not giving the money because the person is going to do something wrong with it sincerely speaking there are some people what about the people who are going to lie to you and then you end up helping them because there are people who can do that there are people who can so fake a scenario and you help them continuously and you finally find out all the times that they're not using the help whatever kind of help you give them for the right purpose so what am i saying here today help regardless sometimes some people want to help people they want to find out who the person is or what the person needs to do with the money because they want to know if the person can be able to help them back that's wrong it's wrong you know the bible says give and it will come back to you it didn't say give to nice people it didn't say give to good people it didn't say give to people who are deserving it just said give and it will come back to you so it doesn't matter who it is but that's by the way I'm actually going on here with the way society makes things to look so for example you're an influencer right you're on social media everybody knows you you're popular it doesn't necessarily mean that that person doesn't have difficult moments it doesn't necessarily mean that that person doesn't have a time where they need help financial emotional physical and all especially financial a whole lot of people have this thing at the back of their minds that because this guy is an influencer because this lady is an influencer because they are all out there they have it all figured out they have everything they need it's not true please it's really not true I've had friends who have gone out of their way and the funny is a lot of these people who are influencers really don't like to ask for help I don't know what their reasons are but like I always said the reasons why I didn't want to reach out to people for help is this I have two reasons that I hate to be rejected or I hate to be denied what I'm asking for but we ask from God all the times and sometimes we don't get those responses but we still go asking right because we need it when you need help ask for it so the first one was because i don't want someone to say they don't have to give me that's why i didn't want to ask and the second reason was i didn't want to put people under pressure or get them worried because people who truly care about me and truly want to help when i ask for help when i go way out of myself to ask for help and they can't help me they start getting worried yes a whole lot of times 
I'm that kind of person as well. If someone reaches out to me that they need help and I can't help them, I start feeling worried. So I don't want people to experience that same kind of thing I do. But trust me, I have a whole lot of friends, amazing group of people who tell me, Princess, don't do that again. If you're in need, tell me. It's, it's okay if I can't help, but at least maybe, just maybe I could know someone who could help. But if you're not telling me, how am I going to be able to help you? How are you going to receive the help? God is not going to come from heaven to come and help me. He's going to use people. He's going to use situations. So we need to talk to people. If you need help, reach out for help. And please, people, if someone comes to you and they really need help and you can help, you are in that position to be able to help, please help them for the love of God. Help them. Because the person is all out there, because the person is all over social media, because the person is called an influencer, because the person is called a celebrity, doesn't mean they have it all. Just like you are thinking that they have money so you can't help them. That's how another person is thinking. And that's how, in turn, everybody thinks like that. And then nobody's helping them. And they truly need help. They truly need help. Most of the times, we, we want to go to these people who are popular, who are influencers. We want them to help us. And they help us, sometimes they go way out of themselves to help us because they don't want to tarnish their image. So sometimes they even do things that are detrimental to themselves. So please, influencer, that you're an influencer doesn't mean that you're going to kill yourself to help another person. It says they will have two quotes. Give one to some other person as help. It didn't say you will have one. Give it and have nothing. No. So wisdom is profitable to direct. And that's why I'm so emphasizing on the fact that if you have the urge to help, help the person. If you're in the position to be able to help the person, help the person. I had a joke once or I read it somewhere where they're saying that, okay, um, a pastor goes to a guy's house and the guy is really hungry and then he preaches to the guy. The guy says he's hungry and everything. He prays with him and tells him that the Lord will provide. And then while he was going out, it's like he put his hand in his pocket to remove something, you know. And then I think he removed a note or something and gave it to the guy that he should read it. I think there were scriptural passages there that the guy should read it. And then he left. So while he was going, the guy was behind. So the guy noticed that, um, let's just say, a $100 bill fell off his pocket. And people were asking questions like, should he give it back to the man or is it God who has provided? <laughs> it's funny, but not funny. Someone is hungry, you have a $100 bill. You could remove $20 and get the person to eat. And then you start talking gospel. Please, it's about time we walk the talk. Please, for the love of God, I say it again and again and again. Don't look at who the person is before you're helping them. Just help them because your heart tells you, your heart is yearning to help someone. Just help the person, please. I've had people, friends who have come and spoken to me. There's so much in need. They so need help, but they've reached out to people and these people are not helping them. These people are just like, you're going to be fine. It's well, you'll be good. Like, you know, and you have the, the possibility, the ability to help. Just help them. That they've gone out of themselves, way out of themselves to come and ask for help means they truly need it. It doesn't matter what they need it for, but if they're coming to you that they need help, they need help. So please help them. Please, 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 for the love of God, help them. That's how sometimes you just see people smiling today and then the next day you hear the committed suicide. I'm not encouraging it. But yes, some people, after a series of rejection, after trusting a whole lot of people that these people can help me, these people can support me, I know that I'm a flesh will fill you, but God is still going to use people. So you have people in your circle that you know at least can do one or two things for you and then you go to these people all of them just give you that no 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 and then it's like nothing is just good nothing is coming forth it's hard i tell you it's hard some people don't know how to manage rejection some people don't know how to manage pain some people don't know how to manage no for an answer 
Yes, we, we really need to talk about that. We have to learn that. But today, I'm talking about people who are in the position to help. Please, if you have been, if your heart is telling you, if your heart is pushing you to help that person, help the person. Don't go trying to find out what the person wants to do with the help you're going to render. It should be none of your business at that point in time. All that should be your business is to satisfy that desire that is telling you help this person. Please, even people who are popular are human beings before being popular people. They're human beings before being influencers. So if they come to you and they're asking for help, please help them. For the umpteen time, please help them. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who needs this. I don't know who needs to help someone. I don't know who is holding back from helping someone because you think the person is all out there and so the person should be able to have everything that they need and not ask for help. But I'm telling you today that if that person is asking you for help, it's because they truly need help. So help if you can. I can go on and on and on and on, but I'm really coming from a place where I'm feeling somewhat today. A particular friend of mine who is really one hopeful person spoke to me some days back. We had a chat and he was so not hopeful at all, totally and completely. And I was blown away. I was shocked. Like I was kind of freaking out. Because I, I, can, I can imagine a little bit of what he's feeling because I've been through that before, but mine wasn't that serious. But his is really serious. Coming from a totally hopeful person, like the extreme, extreme of hopeful, to someone who is even hopelessness, it seems he doesn't have. Then you can imagine. Please, please, I'm begging you. I'm really, really begging you. Forgive my tone, forgive my pitch, but I said it from the beginning. Just permit me be emotional on this video because that's exactly how I'm feeling right now. On real inspiration, I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. We're all about social positive change, making a difference in life. You might not be able to help the whole world, but you might be able to help one person who feels like this is the whole world happening to them. So please, do your part and leave the rest for God. Until next time, I'm your very own Princess Clinton, Queen of Hearts and Smiles. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video. To the new people, Welcome to the family, and I hope you get stuck with us sometime. And to those who have been here all along from the start, those who tagged along, I'm forever grateful. Words really can't tell how grateful I am, but I truly am.